Hello and welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to go very basic step by step and from scratch we are going to learn how does a BDD process starts in an organization and we will start with the discovery phase and we will see a very interesting example and a workshop and if you find the speed of this video too fast or too slow, you can always control it from the player settings and with that, let's get started and let us see how does the BDD process starts and how do we do a discovery workshop or a discovery meeting. Before that, let us understand what is the user story. So in a agile process or a agile methodology in general, we create user stories for any change that we have to implement in the application. It can be a new feature or some existing feature that needs to be changed but we create user stories and user stories are informal general explanation of the feature written in the way that it is from the perspective of the end user. So this is what a user story is and this can be discussed between teams and when we talk about the discovery process or the discovery workshop, it is all about discussing this user story between different teams so that they can discuss, collaborate, explore and finally can discuss on the desired behavior of a user story. So this is what a discovery workshop is. Now let us see an example in action. Let us say we have an application for booking flight tickets online and here is the next user story that needs to be worked on and implemented in the application. When a user selects the flight and navigates to the payment process, keep the seats blocked until the process is completed or cancelled. Now, in order to prepare and discuss on this story, for the development, we do the three amigos meeting or it is a meeting between different teams or different disciplines from the teams. In general, we have a representative from the business team like a product owner, they can be one or more representatives. We have somebody from the development teams and from the testing or QA teams. And this is what we normally know as the three amigos meeting or the meeting between different disciplines and the process of BDD and discovery starts with the three amigos meeting. Now, let us see how the meeting starts. So the, these three people will meet and then they will start the discussion. Usually the business person or the product owner will start by explaining the user story. So he or she says, you see for this functionality, we need to check and ensure that the seats are blocked until the process is completed or canceled. The developer says, can you give me some examples? Sure, the business use case is very simple. Let's say John is using our application to book tickets from New York to Boston. He selects the flight and seats and moves to the payment process. Now the seats selected by John should be blocked and should not be shown as available to any other user until John completes the payment process or cancels it. The testing team or the test engineer says, should we keep a time limit for the transaction? That's a good point. There should be some limit on time to complete the transaction. That will actually help us to implement the functionality better. Okay, I will have it added and documented. The test engineer again says, what about the scenario when a user is in the process of booking and the flights get cancelled from the backend or rescheduled due to any reason? The developer says, we can run an API at the backend before confirming the payment and booking. Great, we now have one more example. The developer again says, in case of payment processed and booking fails, we need to call the refund module. Yes, integration with the refund module will be important. I agree, did not think about this. And this is how they will keep on discussing different scenarios and different use cases and finally will come up with the desired and expected behavior of the system. And the outcome of this phase or this meeting will be the agreed system behavior that all of these people will agree upon. And as we have seen in the earlier session that we have these three phases in BDD discovery, 
where we do this discussion and then the outcome is the agreed behavior of the system and then we have the formulation and automation. So this is how a BDD workshop looks like and this is how we start BDD in any organization. I hope this was very useful for you. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or you want to say anything about this video and I will meet you in the next session. Thank you for watching.